even until today, the debate over CSD or SSD, client-side or server-side decorations, continues to rage on. Now, this isn't really that much of concern under X11, because applications can decide on what they want to have based on their environment. Wayland, though, it's a little bit more tricky, because in the case of GNOME, it fully relies on CSD, whereas KDE and WL Roots have an extension to the Wayland protocol that allow applications to decide on what they want. This allows, for example, KDE to use SSD. Okay, that's great, but what are client-side and server-side decorations? Well, client-side decorations are when the client, otherwise known as the window, handles its own window decorations. Among other things, you have things like the title bar, for example. So in this case, this window is going to make whatever title bar it wants to make. Whereas server-side decorations, you have some entity outside of the application itself. Usually this will be things like your compositor and things like that. And then this is going to go and draw whatever decorations it wants to draw instead of what the window wants. So the easiest way to distinguish whether something is using CSD or SSD is based on how much is happening in the title bar. So if we have just things like, say, the window title, and we have a minimize, maximize, and then close button, and this looks consistent across every single window in the environment, this is usually going to be SSD. But if instead of that, we still have our regular window actions, but we also have things like, say, our hamburger menu and other, like, application functionality buttons. Maybe you have, like, your file or other things like that. This is being drawn directly by the application. So let's look at a more real-world example. This is a mock-up of Telegram from GNOME team using CSD properly. And this is how it would look if it was using, like, a fallback CSD that effectively looks the same way as just SSD. you got to have some sort of window header, so usually your GUI framework is just going to add one automatically if it uses CSD. And you can probably see the big difference here. The close icon here is integrated into the application header, and you don't have this bunch of extra wasted space. Now, you could argue that you might want to have the application name in your bar here, but the GNOME team doesn't really think that's that important. I personally agree. I have it up here just because there's nothing in this space here. It's not really adding anything extra to get in the way. And here's another example actually implemented in the real world. This is Geary. So instead of having a title bar up here that says Geary just to have, you know, this minimize, maximize, and close icon, all of it is integrated into this bar up the top, and it's a much more, you know, seamless experience. But CSD definitely isn't perfect. So by letting the applications, you know, design themselves, you can have things like this happen where everything just looks completely inconsistent. You have this thing drawing something, this seems to be drawing it in a similar way to this, but then you have this completely different bar here, this completely different bar, and then another one again. The problem with CSD is if you don't have consistent theming rules, things are going to behave and feel really, really inconsistent. However, if you can have good theming rules and make sure they're actually being enforced, you can have an absolutely incredible looking environment because this is literally what macOS does. Now, Windows also uses CSD, but um, Windows rules are a little bit um, lacking. Uh, look at the NVIDIA panel, look at the AMD panel, look at random installers for random applications. Everything looks entirely inconsistent. macOS though, macOS actually does CSD properly, and if you're living just in the GNOME environment, GNOME does it properly as well. The problem is when you step slightly outside of that environment and no one cares about your theming rules, then things start to fall completely apart. Another problem is when an application freezes. So if it's drawing its own close icon, the close icon has also frozen, whereas SSD Unless your server freezes, which is going to be really bad, and you would have noticed that, you can still graphically close applications. Now, you can always just go and close it from your terminal, 
But if you use a graphical environment, you don't want to use a terminal for stuff, this is going to be a pretty big drawback. Then there's the issue with building stuff that's not using a GUI framework and doesn't go and add these fallback decorations. So let's say a game or scientific plotting, we usually just draw a graph directly to the screen or imaging software or rendering something in an image buffer. These things are not going to have window decorations in a CSD environment. So there's going to be no way to graphically close them unless there is a quit button in the program itself. In the case of a game, there usually is. But if it's like basic plotting to the screen, there's not. So you're going to have to close it in some other manner. With the exception of gaming, if you're using any of this software, you're probably going to be a fairly advanced user anyway. So you're probably going to know the limitations that you have if you're using this in a CSD environment. Saying that, it still does offer a really weird user experience. Now, in the case of SSD, unless you go and disable it on some random window, every single window is going to have native server decorations. So in the case of a game or in the case of a graphing software or an image buffer, if you're in KDE, for example, it's going to have those KDE window decorations. But even with that, it doesn't make the application look like it naturally fits into the environment. If it's designed like a GNOME application and then you stick some KDE decorations on it, it still looks like a GNOME app, it just now has KDE buttons. But I think it is much, much better than having no decorations whatsoever. The problem that can happen though, is when you have an application designed entirely around CSD and you run it in an SSD environment. This can lead to having two sets of window decorations, the one drawn by the server and the one drawn by the application itself. Now, generally, this isn't an issue. Most applications are designed in a remotely sensible way because most people are using some sort of graphical framework that handles it itself. But there are those cases where things don't play as nicely as you'd expect. Or there's my issue, where I run a window manager and if I use anything designed around a modern GNOME environment heavily using CSD, it works great in a windowed form. But when I full screen applications, I have my window manager set to hide the title bars. And a lot of the time, they have core application functionality in the title bar. So it breaks the applications and makes them unusable on my system. SSD has another great benefit. So if you're using a floating environment, which you probably are if you care at all about this, you want to have some way to, you know, easily move your windows. So if you're using CSD and it's like heavily using the title bar, there are a lot less spaces where you can actually, you know, grab the application. You want to avoid pressing the buttons or, you know, like activate things and it probably won't move. But CSD, what, you'd have like this? Look at all this space. You can just grab it much, much easier. It's not a big deal, but I know that, you know, if you're using a touchscreen display and you're fat fingering things, or you're just really inaccurate at using a mouse, having a bit of extra room to grab the application is going to be nice. I don't really care about it though, because I just have a, you know, a tiling window manager. I can move stuff around easily with my keyboard. But this isn't an all or nothing problem. You can have CSD and SSD actually coexisting. So if you're using a standard GUI framework like GTK, QT, Electron, things like that, anything heavily designed around use with Linux, you can have it so on GNOME, it's going to have a fallback CSD to make sure things are being drawn properly. And you could even set it up so it works properly and uses CSD properly on GNOME, heavily using the title bar. And then on anything else, it's going to get rid of that decoration and then rely on SSD instead. So the question then becomes, do you want to sacrifice consistency for functionality, in which case CSD is hands down better? Or do you want to sacrifice functionality for consistency, in which case SSD wins without a doubt? I don't know which one's correct. That's entirely up to you. But here's the best thing. There is a middle ground. There is a hybrid approach that KD came up with like eight years ago, which they only sort of recently started using, called DWD, Dynamic Window Decorations, 
where instead of having the server draw the decorations completely blindly to what the client actually wants, what the client can do is provide hints to the server to say things that it wants to be drawn in its server drawn title bar. And with that, you can have things like this, where you have the application being drawn by the client itself, and then the title bar being drawn by the server, but the server is being told extra things to add that wouldn't normally be included. Now, this is very much a KDE specific solution, but honestly, I feel like it's the best solution available. I don't think going purely SSD is a great idea unless you plan to only be living inside of that environment or your macOS where you run an app store where you can force people to do whatever you want to force them to do. I think generally SSD is probably a better approach, but I can definitely commend GNOME for trying to make a more functional and tightly knit graphical environment I don't think this is like an anti-user experience design. In fact, I think in many cases when it's done properly, it is a better user experience. But maybe you disagree. You think CSD is the only right way or SSD is the only right way or maybe you're someone who just doesn't care about window decorations whatsoever and you prefer they just don't exist so you can do stuff directly on your keyboard. I would love to hear your opinion. I know people are going to argue about this, but please keep the discussions in a remotely tame manner. Um, no matter what I say, people are going to argue about it because this is a very, um, very touchy subject, but I did my best. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, so verify linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.